Hey, check my nuts. They are uh, just plain old regular almonds right now, but pretty soon they are going to be some awesome smoked almonds. Uh, how I'm going to do that is just in my smoker here, which is currently fired up. I'm cold smoking cheese today. This will be a good opportunity for a two-phase smoke of these almonds. Now what I'm going to do is I've got a foil pan here. I just took an awl to it and punched a bunch of holes in it just to uh, help create some better smoke uh, flowing through this as well as around so it's not just uh, the tops and sides of the almonds that are getting smoke. And here I'm just going to get it into the smoker. Set it right down here. And I'm then going to take my almonds, get them all over that there. Just going to spread them around. Try and create a nice thin layer for maximum uh, contact with the smoke by all almonds. Do that right there. Perfect. Okay, so these are going to get probably three or four hours of smoke, just as long as I'm smoking the uh, cold smoking the cheese, and we will see how they turn out after that. So you can see the almonds are getting some nice little smoke coming up here, nice and gentle. Uh, it'll probably be a little bit more aggressive during phase two. It was just time to add a little bit more charcoal and another nug of alderwood, so I'm just going to mix these up a little bit. Spin them around just to help ensure a more even absorption of smoke. There we go. Alrighty, so we have these. They are all done and phase one is complete. So tomorrow I've got a whole other plan for these. So stay tuned, let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, so we are ready for phase two of the almonds. What I'm going to do is, I've just got them in a mixing bowl here. I'm just going to add a bit of canola oil, a little drizzle there, a couple of tablespoons. And then I've got my, uh, this is actually my pork rib rub. Um, I'll put the recipe for that in the comments section. So I'm going to throw a couple of tablespoons of that in there. And I am going to toss it all up. Give it a good solid mix here. So if you're doing this and it looks like you don't have quite enough of a coating, it's totally acceptable to add just a little bit more. I'll throw in another tablespoon-ish of the rub. So you want to make sure there's lots of flavor here. Just lost a nut. There we go. These are looking pretty well coated. So I'm going to put these back on the same oil pan as I was using yesterday and get them in the smoker and in a minute we'll see exactly what my plan is for that. All right, so here we are, the smoker. Oh look, that's already smoking quite a bit. Here are the nuts and looking inside, oh here's a surprise. I've actually got ribs smoking as we speak. Hence the reason for using the rib rub. Same kind of flavors going on here. Now, I don't know if during this, if emulsified awesome fats floating through the air are going to impact these nuts or not. We will find out in the finished product. I'm gonna let this go for a wee bit and then stir it up. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes. Put these almonds in here. I'm just going to stir them up a bit. A nice little toss. Let them keep gently roasting and smoking away in here. I love this phase too. This is awesome. Oh man, these are really starting to look beautiful. I'm gonna let them just sit in here a little bit longer while those ribs are cooking. Oh man. Well, I'd say these guys are done. I'm going to let them just hang out in the smoker overnight, chill down, off gas a little bit, and then tomorrow I will taste test and package. Well, I am extremely pleased with these. 
they turned out they are super savory, they're salty, they're smoky. Um, all of that awesome flavor coming out of the pork rub really made it into these. And I don't know, man, I, I'm really going to have to make them more often, particularly around Christmas. I think this would be fantastic to send out to people um, along with holiday gift packs with nuts and bolts and other fun stuff like that. So um, I'm just going to seal these ones up because it made um, you know, uh, two 500 mil jars and a 250 mil jar. And um, I'm gonna just vacuum seal them with my little uh, attachment that goes on here and that'll just keep them fresh. But I think, you know, come holiday time, there's gonna be a whole whack load of these being made. So until then folks, keep your nuts at 11.